Uh, if anybody has questions about spiders per se, I can um, attempt to answer those as well. pretty cute. Um, you can feel free to have a friend take pictures if you'd like. Um, one thing a lot of people notice is that the spider is very lightweight for how large it appears. And um, it's, it's kind of uh, interesting to feel how the, the steps that the spider takes onto your skin feel. Some people um, say it's like akin to like a Q-tip. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting because they have these little toesies that like squeeze a little bit. Uh, and have a, uh, a sort of grippy, uh, super grippy, like it's way more grippy than you'd expect given the, um, given the size uh, of the, of the, um, of the, uh, yeah. there you go, of the surface area that's, that's impacted. And remember, try to move slowly. And if it starts to move like uh, up your arm or something, <laughs> that's okay, we'll just readjust. You know, so and we're trying to keep them over the table. She's ready. I said to you too. I said. Okay. I said to you. No. So there are jumping spiders. This is not a jumping spider. Um, so, I want people to try to see uh, this spider's eyes. So this spider's eyes are um, clustered at the front of its head, essentially, um, right over its fairly large mandibles. And all of it, yeah, all of its eyes, it has a bunch of eyes, um, they're, but they're all clustered in that one little place. That smooth now, bump. Think top. about think about how you've seen um, the eyes of uh, jumping spiders, for instance. Have you seen pictures of jumping spiders? If not, you can look them up on your phone. But jumping spiders have sort of differently arranged eyes. Who can sort of explain what a jumping spider's eyes look like? You know, from, from memory, or you can look them up. They're pretty different than a tarantula's eyes. Any else want to hold it? Sure. Do we need a note when, to let you know when we leave? Um, no, you can just take off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It weighs basically nothing, especially on a human hand. No, he was shaking. The jumping spiders has like round big black eyes. Yeah, the jumping spiders have really large eyes. Um, <laughs> so the eyes are very, very large. Um, and uh, one of the important things is that they're far apart. The jumping spider's eyes are far apart. Now, why would the eyes be far apart and large on a jumping spider and not on a tarantula? Yeah, so the larger eyes will help it see it in the dark. Uh, but why are they far apart? Why would, why would eyes be far apart on a jumping spider? It's, uh, so it's binocular. So they're both facing forward, but it's depth perception. Like you said, so like if you're a spider and you want to jump onto some prey, you better make sure that you jump that you jump uh, the right distance, right? Yeah, if you jump too far, you're you're gonna miss your prey and then you're gonna starve. If you jump not far enough, you're gonna miss your prey and you're gonna starve. And so the um, the ability to jump the right distance is critically important for jumping spiders. Uh, whereas tarantulas um, want to have um, yeah a more concentrated um, vision that's less focused on depth perception. I just make sure to keep it over the table. There you go. Yo. Careful. Move slowly. Um, not that I know of. <laughs> right. <laughs> it stops. Yeah, if they stop, they're just comfortable and hanging out. Oh, they're comfortable with me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Are, all are all tarantulas in South America? Yeah. No, we have, we have tarantulas um, here in Southern California, uh, 
even um, in uh, our part of California, there's tarantulas depending on where you go. Uh, in just sort of like mountainy, deserty, scrubby regions. <laughs> um, there's also um, a lot of tarantulas in Mexico and uh, sort of going down to Central America, but there's also tons in South America, of course. Do you want me to record Yeah, this is a very, very well-adjusted tarantula. Um, what do you feed it? Uh, tarantulas typically eat crickets. Me too, because I don't want him getting this. My mom will be proud. Thank you. Oh, he's the best. Right? You're doing great. Oh, he's like so soft. Yeah. It really is like a little baby. Oh, it's so, so soft! So these oh tarantulas, I think, I believe this tarantula is about a year old. Oh, hey! Oh, he's a baby! How long do they usually live up to? Oh, oh, oh. So, the life expectancy on tarantulas is kind of interesting. Um, depending on the species, uh, they can live um, kind of a long time. But, but they also have um, really stark differences in their life expectancy based on sex. So male tarantulas, um, at least of the species that I have, I have a pet tarantula at home, the, the species that I have, the males live about five or six years, whereas the females will live up to 20 or so years. So there's, um, there's pretty dramatic differences in, um, in life expectancies of different tarantulas. Do you want to try to I don't know what I would do if it went into I have a Mexican red rump. <laughs> She's like, help. Hook <laughs> it back like super gently and then I'll start moving forward. There you go. Okay. It's so soft. Yeah, it's like, it's it's strong it's okay. Okay. Do you want to try? Okay. Uh, put your hand right here. And just... Here. You walk across your hand and then walk into my hand, okay? Oh my god, I'm sorry. That's too bad. Nice! Oh my god! Feels pretty Yeah! Oh my god. Super friendly. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm going to just try to move a little bit slowly. Uh, the faster you move, the faster he'll want to move. So. Keep your head a little bit flat. This species I don't know. Um, I expect this is about 70% of adult size. This is about a year old. Oh, okay. Um, you said so they live about five years? Males live about five years, okay. females live about 20. Oh, <laughs> they have extreme sexual dimorphism in life expectancy. Yes. Yeah. That's, That's so crazy. cool. Uh -huh. <laughs>